What's up movie fans, I'm the master of movies players from the Hills Maniacs and today I'm going to be bringing you my updated DVD and Blu-ray collection for September of 2023. Now, I said in my last one of these uh, from August that I would try to do this every month if, if I got um, movies every month. So, uh, this will be my one for September. And I said in the last video, too, that I had Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 uh, that I misplaced for some reason. But I did find it. So, I'll start with that one. This one I actually got in August. So, that was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Um, you know, pretty okay, decent MCU film. Uh, there were parts of it where I was a little bit confused and, and things that could have happened that didn't um, or, or things that um, should have been like more explained or, or uh, just different things um, going on that kind of confused me. I've never been a huge Guardians of the Galaxy fan anyways uh, for any of the three movies, but um, not a bad, it's definitely not my least favorite of the MCU films um, and just a heads up a lot of these I haven't seen so um, like I said before in my last one I'll just tell you the ones I have seen uh, that way I'm not saying I haven't seen this one uh, because the majority of these I haven't seen but we'll start with um, my five six most recent um, pickups and then we'll go just backwards from there so these are the ones uh, that I picked up the most recently. This first one is a Blu-ray, and that's Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, this one I did see. I really enjoyed this. Um, I think I liked Into the Spider-Verse better, but this is still definitely a good a good movie. Um, I really like these because it, it, it gives you that kind of um, multiverse of madness type thing where uh, all the different Spider-Mans come together from different realities and stuff and and they have to try to fix these different um holes in the timelines and then there's some events that have to happen in every timeline in order for spider-man to exist and so it was kind of cool that they um played off of that so it was it was a really fun movie if you haven't seen it or into the spider-verse definitely check these two out because these are really good uh spider-mans uh, this next one i have uh, is aporia I think that's how you say that, or Aparia, however you say that. Um, sounded interesting. Picked it up. It was, it was kind of cheap. Um, Judy Greer's in it. Um, just sounded kind of cool. But like I said, these are my most recent uh, pickups. Uh, the Walking Dead Dead City Season 1. Um, I've heard mixed things about it. I know Steven was watching it. I don't know if he finished the whole season or not um, when it was out. But basically this one, if you're a Walking Dead fan... Uh, this one it covers the, I guess, the aftermath, if you will. Um, Negan and Maggie kind of go together, and I would assume they're in New York City with the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, they go to post-apocalyptic Manhattan. So um, I don't know the main plot of it because I haven't watched this yet, but if you're a Walking Dead fan like I am, um, you might want to check that out. So I'll have to get around to watching that. I know Daryl Dixon's on TV now. Um, the Walking Dead spinoff for Daryl Dixon, so um, which was originally supposed to be Daryl and Carol, but I guess the actress that played Carol didn't want to do it or something. So um, I haven't watched that one yet either. Uh, next is Mount Adams. I got this at Dollar Tree. It sounded kind of cool. It sounded interesting, so I grabbed it. But again, haven't seen it yet. Um, I don't know, just sounded kind of cool. It's like, they, I guess there's all kinds of things happening on this mountain. Um, this was also a Dollar Tree. Don't ask me why I grabbed this. I have no clue. Um, Gumby's Arctic Antics. I don't know. It, it sounded funny. It was a Dollar Tree. I just grabbed it because I wanted to make an even number when I, when I uh, bought things at Dollar Tree. And this one was also from Dollar Tree. Uh, the Warlord, um, which sounded interesting. But... Um, I haven't watched it yet. Okay, so next we'll just do uh, Blu-rays. These are ones that I've, I've had for a while, but like we're done with all my recent ones. Um, so the first one is Hidden Kingdoms, narrated by Stephen Fry, um, with BBC Earth, the company that does like Planet Earth and all that stuff. Speaking of which, 
Uh, they have a, was it Blue Planet 3 or Planet Earth 3? I think it was Blue Planet 3, if I'm not mistaken, coming out soon. It might have been Planet Earth, though, I don't know. Um, but one of those coming out soon with um, Sir David Attenborough narrating. I love all those nature documentary things. Um, and this one was a Dollar Tree, so I grabbed this one. It sounded interesting. Um, need to get around to watching this because I love these documentaries. It's not narrated by David Attenborough, so I don't know how good it will be. But Stephen Fry does a great job with stuff, so it might still be just as fun. Um, Hardcore Henry. Um, I don't know. It sounded cool. Again, a Dollar Tree. So. Um, Ocean's 8. I've heard mixed things on this one. I've never seen any of the Ocean's movies, so... I don't know, but I picked it up um, with the intent to watch it at some point, obviously. Um, next is The Hustler. Uh, this one I got for cheap. Um, again, I've heard people talk about that, but never really got around to watching it. Um, this one I got at Walmart, Firefly, the complete series. I've heard mixed things on this series, too, uh, but it was $10, so I grabbed it. Um, let me know if you've seen this series, uh, what you thought. Next is... Hail Caesar, um, sounded cool, great cast in it, Josh Brolin, George Clooney, um, Alden Ehrenreich, Ray Fiennes, Jonah Hill, Scarlett Johansson, Francis McDormand, Tilda Swinton, and Channing Tatum, so, sounded, sounded cool, um, and then the final Blu-ray I have is Final Kill, um, again, none of those I have seen, um, so we'll move on to DVDs now, alright, so we have three stacks here, um, I'll try to go through these pretty quick because most of these, again, I haven't seen. Um, so we have a Digimon Adventure Try Future. Um, I had one of those before in a previous one. Um, I used to watch Digimon, but I don't know. I don't know which ones these are, and I, it's been a while. But it was a Dollar Tree. Uh, Destination Morpha. Um, sounded cool. And Tony Todd's in it, the one from Candyman. So I figured I'd check it out. Um, this one's a classic. I know I've heard a lot of people talk about it. Uh, Bad News Bears uh, with Billy Bob Thornton. Um, yeah. Uh, this next one I got because it was DreamWorks. Uh, that's the bad guys. Um, I just picked it up because it was DreamWorks, and I'm trying to get all the, the DreamWorks um, movies. So uh, Next is Awoken. Um, a, I guess, horror movie about like people in like an insane asylum or something. Um, sure, I guess, I don't know, um, I'll read, I'll figure it out later. Uh, next is Astro Boy, the complete series. Then we have, uh, Blood and Money, Tom Berenger, sounded kind of cool. Uh, next we have, um, Bible Stories, uh, animated ones, so... Greatest Heroes and Legends of the Bible. So you have Daniel and the Lion's Den, Samson and Delilah, the story of Moses, David and Goliath, Sodom and Gomorrah, and Joshua and the Battle of Jericho. Um, I hope they're accurate. Um, next is The Reluctant Dragon. I actually got this as um, a Disney fan club member uh, for one of my DVDs that I bought. Um, Swordfish, another one that sounded interesting. Uh, it's got John Travolta, Hugh Jackman, Don Cheadle, and Halle Berry, so great cast in that. Uh, definitely have to check that one out. Another one from BBC Earth, uh, I got this at Dollar Tree, it's Planet Ant. Um, so it's a documentary on ants and stuff. Um, yeah, so it's, it's another nature documentary, I'll have to watch that one. Uh, the Poltergeist collection, I've never seen any of these. Um, but who knows, with Halloween week, maybe, maybe not. Uh, the Nut Job and the Nut Job 2. Um, I got this one basically just because um, Liam Neeson's in them. Um, or at least in the first one. I don't know. Is he in the second one? I got this mostly for the first one because I think Liam Neeson's in it, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's in the second one. I don't know who he plays in the first one. But I'm trying to get all his movies. And yes, it does count as a movie that he's in. So I grabbed that one. Uh, Peppermint. I've heard different things about um, so I picked it up because it was five bucks. Uh, Jennifer Garner's in that. Uh, next is um, Devil May Cry Level 1 anime series. I don't know, I got it in a set of random movies. Um, these next two I'm really excited about because, well, 
third one set, but two movies. Um, so we have Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, and Halloween 5, Revenge of Michael Myers. Um, this year for Halloween, I will be doing a ranking of all the Halloween movies, um, including the two remakes. So definitely check that out um, if, it, if it's something you're interested in. And I couldn't, for, for whatever reason, each of these movies is really expensive to buy. Um, they're like $30 each, maybe more, depending on where you try to get them from. I have no clue why, but these were the last two I needed in the Halloween um, franchise. And I found a two-pack of them on eBay for about 20 bucks. And that's pretty good considering how much they normally go for. Um, I've seen parts of Halloween 4, but I have never seen Halloween 5. So I'm looking forward to finally watching those uh, as part of the ranking. This next one I just picked up to complete the series. Uh, it's Fast X. <coughs> Fast X. Um, I really could care less about the Fast and Furious movies, but I have all the other ones. So I picked that one up. Um, speaking of The Walking Dead, here's Tales of The Walking Dead. Um, I don't know, I think, isn't it kind of like backstories of some characters? I think there's one about Alpha. Um, if you watch The Walking Dead, you'll know who I'm talking about. Um, and how they got where they were at in The Walking Dead, but then there was also some other random people that we never saw in The Walking Dead. Um, and Terry Crews is in this, he plays somebody in, in one of the episodes at least. Um, and I think each episode is um, like a different story uh, for each character. So um, I'll have to check that out at some point. Um, Hostel and Hostel 2. Um, I've heard these movies are weird. So I don't know if I'll check on them or not. I got them in a random set of movies. Um, the whole, uh, I got this at Dollar Tree and kind of like a horror movie. They find this hole like in, in their... Uh, in their house somewhere or something or in their basement and something's in it so of course um fall this one sounded interesting jeffrey dean morgan um the one who plays negan in the walking dead um i guess these two girls get trapped up on this tower thing um so that's that sounded interesting so i grabbed that one uh, here's a classic, Dumb and Dumber 2. I haven't seen the full thing of this. I need to actually watch it. Uh, we just watched me, myself, and Irene not too long ago. Uh, to be a soldier. Unsung Heroes, the story of America's female patriots. Um, got this at Dollar Tree also. Um, sounded kind of cool. Um, Witchcraft, another Dollar Tree um, horror movie. Uh, this one I picked up to, to complete the, the series that I have. Uh, this is the new Money in the Bank uh, from this year for WWE, um, which I didn't get to watch on TV, so I'll have to watch it. Uh, the Menu um, sounded interesting, so grab that one. Anya Taylor-Joy, um, Nicholas Holt, and Ray Fiennes. And the last one I have is Lucha Libre, Life Behind the Mask. So it's kind of like a documentary on um, Lucha Libre wrestling and stuff. Uh, so that's that's all I have for my pickups for September. Uh, hopefully I have more in October, but uh, we don't know. And like I said, stay tuned for um, Halloween and what we got going on. Um, it should be fun uh, this year, especially with my Halloween um ranking movie because i've always wanted to watch all of them but i could never find four and five i have seen all the other ones i just couldn't find those to complete the series uh, and do a complete um ranking of them uh, i could do one for friday the 13th and a nightmare on home street because i have those series or if there's any other movies or series that you want to see a review of for halloween uh, definitely let us know in the comments below if you've seen any of these that I said I haven't seen because there's only I think what two or three maybe that I have seen um, fully at least uh, if you have seen any let me know if they're good or which ones I should watch or if you want to see a review of any of them uh, let me know in the comments below I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember leave this scumbaggery at home and we'll see you guys in the next one